Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hello friends, welcome back to another video. In the previous video, I have shown you how to make a Corona data tracker with Node MCU and OLED display. In this video, I will show you how to make the same project, but we will display the same thing on a 16 into 2 LCD display. So let's get started. This is the circuit diagram of our today's project. You can download this from my website that is www.viralsciencecreativity.com. Links are in the description down below. I recommend you to watch the previous video of Corona Live Data Tracker so you will understand it better. So now let's move to the programming. First open all these links into your browser. Here I have declared some libraries which are essential for this project. Then here I have declared the LCD pins. Now we'll enter our Wi-Fi name and our Wi-Fi password. We're using ThingsPick API for this project. Now you will need to change these keys. So follow my steps. Now we will have to change the key from this URL. The first URL is for cases, second is for deaths and third is for recovered patients. Now to get those URL key, first open those link worldometer and things pick into your browser. Create a things pick account. If you already have one, then sign into your account. Go to apps drop down and select thing http create new now we will add the first one that is corona cases now go to worldometer and select your country here Copy the URL from the browser and paste it here.
Now select all the digits displayed on the cases tab and right click on it and click on inspect. Right click on the highlighted line and click on copy X path. and paste it in the path string. Remove this span word and save it. From here, copy the key and paste it to your Arduino code. Follow the same steps for Corona Deaths and Corona Recovered. You can change your country name that is written in the inverted commas and even this name. So at the bottom of the code I have added this LCD print lines which will print the data on our display. You can change this according to your display. If you are using 16 into 4 display or you are using 16 into 2, just change the rows and columns. Now we'll select the board, we'll select the port and we'll upload the code. After you have finished uploading, open the serial monitor. Select the proper baud rate and press the reset button on your node MC board and you will find the data is printed over here. Similarly, the data will be printed on your LCD display. So that's it, we have done the project. I hope you guys like this, then hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.